Now we discuss the integumentary system. Integument is a fancy word for skin. So the integumentary system and specifically the epidermis. The epidermis is the outer layer of skin. Epi means above. So, or outer, so it's the outer layer of skin from here to here, not include the dermis, above the dermis. Here's the dermis below, we'll learn about that next. But now we're gonna learn about the epidermis, above the dermis. The epidermis has a number of layers, the stratum corneum. We won't concern ourselves with the stratum lucidum. Move on to the stratum granulosum and spinosum and the basal, the basal layer. We'll start with the basal layer and then work our way up. The basal layer, or stratum basal, is this single level of cuboidal cells, or they might be columnar. Anyway, they're square, they're fresh, lovely little cells with nice nuclei in there. And it's this layer up and down, the first layer above the dermis. This is the dermis down here, we'll talk about that next. In the next lesson but the dermis has is rich with blood and and blood vessels and nutrition and things like that and it sends nutrients to this basal layer this layer of single layer of cells columnar cells here that go up and down and there are at the base of the epidermis Uh, these cells are very, re remember myto my mitosis, they're very mitotically active, meaning they're doing what? They're constantly, mitosis, they're constantly dividing, multiplying. So they're constantly creating new cells. And these cells are being pushed up as new ones are created in this layer these cells get pushed upward. And they get pushed up into the next layer called the stratum spinosum or spinosum. That's this layer in here. That's this layer right in here. And it's called the stratum spinosum because the shells take the cells take an irregular shape after they are made uh, in the basal layer and they get pushed up into this layer, they start getting kind of a spiky shape to them. So it's called the stratum spinosum. In the stratum spinosum, the cells begin to gather and they begin to disintegrate because these cells, as they move upward, let's get a smaller pen. These cells begin to move upward. And when they move upward, they move away from all this nutrition down here. There's lots of nutrients and blood flow down in the dermis here from these arteries and, and things like that. And they start so they start to lose their nutrition so they start to sort of die off and at the same time these cells that get pushed upward they start to take in a uh, product called keratin a protein called keratin it's a very very tough dense protein they start to fill up with keratin and then they rise, this tough protein, and then they rise to this layer right here called the stratum granulosum, right here. 
this thick, tough layer. So to repeat, cells are created on the basal layer, and then they get pushed up as new ones underneath them become created. They get pushed out of the way, upward, into the spinosum, stratum spinosum. Here in the stratum spinosum, they collect a pigment, a protein, or excuse me, a protein, a tough protein called keratin. And then they keep rising, they keep getting pushed up. As they do, they get flattened out. Remember they started out columnar or cuboidal, squarish? Well, by the time they get to the granulosum layer, they are becoming flattened out. They're filled with this substance, they're dying. They're becoming filled with a substance called keratin, a very tough substance, and they're dying and they form the stratum granulosum. And as they keep getting pushed up further, they get pushed up into the stratum corneum. We're not going to talk about lucidum, but the stratum corneum. And here they're just they're just essentially just dead, dead, absolutely dead cells filled with keratin, and then they start fluffing off. And this would be the flaking of the skin. This is the layer of skin that you what. Um, you scrub off. What's that process called? Uh, women do it. Men are starting to do it a little more. Um, you're taking this last layer off. These are dead skin cells, and they come off, and they can be scrubbed off. Well, good thing, because these, the basal layer is continually undergoing mitosis at the basin, the basal layer, the stratum basal. In other words, recreating brand new cells skin cells that keep getting pushed up. By the way, when they get pushed up, they are called and they start absorbing this protein called keratin. The cells become, they get a new name. They're called keratin O sites. Site means cell. So they're keratin filled cells, keratin, keratinocytes. Here is another look at the process. Down here is the dermis. That's the layer we're not talking about this lesson, but next. And this is the layer of columnar cells, fresh columnar cells. There's a nucleus right there, a single layer going all the way across. And you can see how as the you can see these these in the stratum spinosum, this layer from here to here. You can see how these columnar cells are getting pushed up and they become these cells here, these sort of spinotic, these spiny shaped cells that are not as columnar. They're changing shapes. That's why they call it the stratum spinosum. And as that's happening, as you know, they're gaining they're, they're, they're picking up, they're filling full of keratin. Keratin is that hard protein, that really tough protein. They're starting to fill up. But what I haven't told you is that they're filling up with another protein as well. There's a cell right here, these cells called melanocytes. Guess what they produce? Melanin. And they're sort of dendritic in shape like, uh, remember we learned about the, the nerve cells, the neurons? They have these dendrites coming off of them. But these are not nerve cells. What these melan melanocytes are doing, they're producing melanin. Here's another one right here with the dendrites coming off. And they're spreading their little melanin around everywhere. What does melanin do? Simply, it protects the skin from UV rays. So melanin makes your skin dark in color. So these are pigments, protein pigments, that fill up your cells to make them more colored, more or darker, to protect from UV protection. Different people, as you know, have different levels of melanin in their skin. And these are little melanin granules here coming out. So as the cell rises from the base basal layer, 
and, and moves away from the basal layer. Let's go back to red. Into the stratum spinosum. Notice it's moving away from all this nutrition here. See there's capillaries and blood vessels down here. Lots of nutrition. So it begins to die and as it begins to die, it begins to also gather two things, melanin and keratin. Melanin, keratin, okay? From these cells, uh, and it gets the melanin from these cells called melanocytes. Then it moves upward here to this very tough granular layer called the stratum granulosum. And you can see now these cells are starting to flatten out. They're no, no longer these fresh cuboidal cells, are they? No, they've flattened out. They're starting to become squashed. You see, they still have a little nucleus in there. But two things have happened. They're now called kerat keratinocytes because they've gained so much keratin, that tough, tough, tough um, fiber, that tough protein that's in there. And not only have they gained keratin, but they've gained what? Melanin, keratin, keratin and melanin. So they're now tougher and they've gained, they become darker. And now they're protected from, they're protecting your body from UV rays, ultraviolet rays. And look how as they rise even farther, they become even more squashed and the cell body or the nucleus is very becoming very faint. So look how far away they are from the nutrition, from the wonderful blood and nutrients. So these cells by this time are dead and you can see them sort of sloughing off here and peeling off and flaking off. And as they, as they get farther and farther out and pushed out to the stratum corneum, so this is the stratum corneum. This is the stratum granulosum. This is the stratum spinosum. And this is the basal laser, basal layer, stratum basal. And of course, below that is the dermis. A similar process happens for nail growth. You can see well, what there is here is there's a basal layer here of columnar. This is the bone, by the way. This is your finger bone right here. Right? There's a basal layer of cells underneath the skin of those cuboidal or those um, columnar cells there. And also a spinosum a, a layer, a second layer in, under that. Of course, this is your nail in blue here. Your fingernail. Well, there's a skin fold right here. A fold of skin that kind of comes out and tucks under. And a similar process happens here where um, there's keratinization going on. So the Basal cells here keep creating and pumping up cells and pushing them, pushing them, pushing them in here. And new, and they become keratinized. The same process that happens over here and goes upward is happening right here and is going outward. So in the nail, the, there is keratinization of these cells. These cells are they're being created are being pushed out. And as they are, they become keratinized. And that's what your nail is. The nail is heavily, heavily, heavily keratinized cells that are just have so much thick, 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 tough keratin. And that gives you an idea how tough keratin is. You know, this same substance of keratin is in your skin cells as well to a lesser extent. But this nail bed, the, the nail is actually translucent. You can see through it. And that's why you can see underlying the um, blood vessels and capillaries and things like that. You can see redness under your skin because there's capillaries, blood vessels here. I believe in a layer of dermis is my guess, yeah. That, that provides nutrients to this basal layer 
stratum basal, basal, which provide, which which keeps dividing and dividing and dividing, creating new cells right here at the root, at the nail root, that keep pushing outward and outward and outward. So the nail grows from inside, from the root, outward, as sales from the basal layer become keratinized, heavily, heavily keratinized, and very quickly, um, and pick up keratin. They become filled with keratin, and they die, just as the ones, as the corneal layer, the stratum corneum up top here. It was a very, 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 very tough keratinized layer. This is the end of the lesson on the integumentary system. I'm Dr. Stephen Harkins.